Please do not. Do not. Don't. Do that. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go over three things that you absolutely have to know about flying at non-towered fields. Uh, when you're at a pilot controlled airport, it is up to you to make sure that things stay safe. And so these three things are super important. The first one is make sure you say the name of the airport at the beginning and at the end. And I swear, if you have to drop one of them, drop the beginning because no one's flying around waiting for you to talk, right? Everyone's talking to their friends, doing their thing in the airplane. Maybe they're, you know, talking to air traffic control. Who knows what they're doing, but they're not waiting for your transmission. So often we hear on runway two, five, uh, uh, final approach one quarter mile out. And it's like, what, what airport was that? Right? Because you have to remember these airports, some of them share frequencies. So when I'm taking off out of Auburn, I can hear traffic at Rio Vista. And when I hear somebody call, I often takes me a second to tune in. I hear where they are, but if they don't say the name of the airport at the end, I have no idea where that call came from. And in some cases it might represent a conflict. So check out this example here where I'm approaching Nevada County, which has a runway 25. Uh, and the call comes on the frequency, the, the beginning is a little bit unintelligible and the pilot says they're departing runway 25 and then fails to say the name of the airport at the end. Check this out. Cessna 048, departing 25. Heading to the southwest. So I didn't really know if that was a conflict for me or not. I just had to visually observe that there were no aircraft taking off runway 25 uh, at the airport right underneath me. You get my point. You have to say the name of the airport at the beginning and at the end, and may this video change that in the universe because the vast majority of people simply say it at the beginning. But if you have to drop one of them, please drop the beginning, keep the end. Here in Nevada County traffic, arrow 1406 Tango, two miles south, 4,000, overflowing the field, Nevada County. Tip number two is when you're departing, make sure that you do a complete 360 degree clearing turn uh, of the ground whenever possible. All right, you wanna make sure that people aren't entering the pattern in some weird way and you just honestly never know what people are doing at pilot controlled airports. So now what we're gonna do is a little 360 right here on the ground just to make sure we don't see anybody. On the frequency. All right, we don't see anybody here. Nevada County traffic, arrow 1406 Tango, departing runway 25 straight out, Nevada County. Now, keep in mind, all of these things at pilot controlled airports are when able. If you have to deviate from the standard, deviate from the standard. There are no hard and fast rules. There's nobody that's going to pull you over and give you a ticket. You have to make the best decision you can make based on the information that you have. All right, the last thing is, whenever possible, you should overfly the airport a thousand feet above the traffic pattern altitude on arrival to do a little reconnaissance mission. However, please do not, do not, don't do that when there's parachute jumping activity at the airport. So if you see this little parachute symbol, uh, or sometimes even this glider symbol, use caution and choose a different entry. One option you have is to enter from the dead side of the pattern, cross the runway midfield at pattern altitude, and enter the downwind. It's called a midfield downwind entry, and the FAA officially blessed it in 2016 with this advisory circular. But even if you have to just kind of stay clear, get a feel for what's going on, and enter on the 45 without that reconnaissance, mission, so be it, call an audible, modify the procedure because you do not want to interfere with parachute jumping activity or glider operations. Uh, so make sure that you don't hold so hard to the standard that it presents a problem for safety. Uh, but at least you have a standard to hold on to. Whenever possible, you will execute it. Nevada County traffic, arrow 1406 Tango, 
Uh, crossing overhead, midfield downwind entry, left traffic 25, Nevada County. Okay, below 150, gears coming down. Okay, we've got three green. Mixture's looking good. Lights are as required. First notch flaps inside the white arc. Nevada County, arrow 1406 Tango, left downwind 25, Nevada County. Nevada County traffic, arrow 1406 Tango, left base, 25, Nevada County. And Nevada County traffic, arrow 1406 Tango, turning final, one way 25, Nevada County. Huge thanks to you guys for being fans of the channel. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell. Um, also, thanks to the sponsors for their support. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Um, also, please feel free to share this video far and wide. Also, a huge thanks to the patrons. Without that support, these videos just wouldn't be possible. Tons of bonus content goes to Patreon, plus Zoom calls with me every month if you have questions or you just want to hang out. Either way. Uh, huge thanks to you guys. You're the best fans on the internet. Share this video far and wide. And most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best.